It was her first time in the council as Under Secretary General, and while acknowledging the strides made, argued it still wasn't good enough. We see that over the past years, numbers of women at senior levels in the United Nations, for instance, in field missions have remained relatively stagnant. While there has been some progress in political and peace-building missions, there has been a decrease in the share of women in top mission leadership positions. Resolution 122 commits the UN Security Council to focus more attention on women's leadership and participation, while also requiring the Council to include provisions on the empowerment of women and gender equality when establishing and renewing the mandates of UN missions around the world. Critically, it recognizes the need for timely information on the impact of armed conflict on women and girls. Women's leadership and collective action have changed the world by combating violence against women and building equality. Women's leadership is central to reconciliation and conflict resolution and to peace-building efforts that bring results for families and communities. That is why I wish Your Excellencies very good progress in this area and I welcome today's resolution on women's peace leadership. Calling it a new generation of gender responsive mediation where women no longer lead from behind. Shervin Bryceby's SABC News, New York.